So we're here at the Computex 2018 here with the Silicon Labs. And who are you? Steven Lim from Taipei. And uh, uh, what's the latest with the, this is the mighty Gecko chipset, right? Right. ARM Cortex M4? Right. So what's the latest with this? Um, the latest feature of the Mighty Gecko is that we, the, it supports multiple protocol. And currently, this we call it a dynamic multiple protocol. It runs Bluetooth and the Zigbee in parallel. Uh, is, so it's one microcontroller, ARM Cortex M4? Yes. Can do both. How is yes. that possible? So you might take use of uh, very uh, powerful Artos. So it can switch from BLE to Zigbee and or Zigbee to BLE very quickly. So it keeps changing from one to another. With no delay? Uh, very very, very uh, small delay, like a few microseconds. And uh, what is this uh, Micrium uh, Artas? Is it one of the leaders in the Artas world? or? Yes, it's, uh, it was the number one in the commercial Artos. It has famous uh, authors called uh, MicroC OS 2 and MicroC OS 3. It's not open source, no? Um, no, no. But uh, um, so you collaborate with Micro Micro to? Uh, we acquired it uh, about two years ago. You acquired it, so yeah. it's your solution. Yes. Your optimization. Solution. Everything yes. is. Yes. And uh, what are you demonstrating here? Okay, let me show you that how how we can control it via Zigbee and Bluetooth. Okay. So now I can control it, but. By Zigbee, I turn it off, I turn it down, and I can control it via the Bluetooth. I turn it off, turn it down, turn it off, turn it down. At the same time? Yeah. From one, the, one chip? Yes. From the system, from the user point of view, you, you have no idea that it runs only one chip, but it supports two protocols uh, perfectly. You're the only one who can do this? In yes. the world, nobody yeah. else can do. I believe we are the best. And Bluetooth is a big deal for IoT, and Zigbee is a big deal for IoT. Which one is bigger? Uh, I, I, for IoT part, I, I think now the market size is about the same size, I guess. But sometimes Zigbee has a longer range. What is the Zigbee advantage compared to Bluetooth? It was the same range. Is the same? Uh, is the same spectrum, or what is it? Um, longer range is because uh, Zigbee's data rate is smaller. <laughs> so, in terms of in, in terms of design um, spec, you, you use smaller data rate, you can you can achieve longer longer distance. So, but doesn't Bluetooth have a solution for this? Like, uh, maybe Bluetooth five is lower bandwidth also. Um, yeah, yes. Bluetooth now has Bluetooth 5. You, you can uh, add four, four times of distance. So now it increased from the Bluetooth 4. It's because of the lower data rate. The, right, right. It's the only reason it can go farther. Right, right. right? So, so now, is it a similar data rate as the Zigbee? Uh, even even low, smaller. Smaller than Zigbee. Right. But this is not Bluetooth 5 demo? Or is, is it Bluetooth 5 also? It's a Bluetooth, it supports Bluetooth 5, but it now runs the Bluetooth 4 stack. stack. All right. Yeah, so our main, main, post, main focus here is that you can switch from one to another. Yeah, so. so maybe we can just check over here. Uh, you, can, can you introduce over here? Yeah. Okay. Some more Bluetooth 5 demos over here. Okay. Maybe just jump on the side here. So a uh, whole bunch of Bluetooth 5, right? Okay. So we, we, we have all the Bluetooth 5 features. For example, the 2 mega file, the coded file, long range file, and the 8 times the vertical. Yes. What do you say, the 5? Bluetooth 5 has 3 uh, features. Bluetooth 5, yeah. uh, the, all the features implemented? Yes. This yeah. is the, mic, the same chipset? Yeah, the same chipset. Mighty Gecko. Yes. Is that the, the yeah, best chipset in Silicon Labs, or what is Mighty Gecko? Yes, yes. The best one? Yeah, the best one. The most important one? Yes, yes. Uh, you don't have more high performance than this? Um, I think it's powerful enough for the IoT uh, environment. It has Cortex M4 inside, and up to 1 megahertz flash, 1 megabyte flash. So you do voice over Bluetooth, LE, yes. sensor to cloud connectivity over Bluetooth? Yes, and we support HomeKit Revision 12. It's the newest, 
new is standard from HomeKit. And uh, the throughput, so a Bluetooth 5 can do further distance, it can also do more bandwidth too? Also? Yeah, it's, it's about two times the bandwidth increase from uh, Bluetooth 4. How? There. How did they do that? Why did they change the Bluetooth? The, 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 the file layer is, is changed. So now it can, change, uh, it can increase about two, two times speed. <laughs> what is this over here? Is this a micro? Mic, uh, is it a memory LCD? Right, right. Uh, our device is here. <laughs> this is our development board. And this is the no memory LCD, yeah. Yeah. And so this is the development board for Blue Kiko. What's the name of this development board? Oh, we call it the wireless starter kit. What's the price? The, the, the whole price? Yeah. It's about 100. Yeah. So uh, this is controlling lights in like a mesh or? Yeah, in, in a mesh. So they are all connected. Light, light, light. And this is a switch. I can control it from here. Turn it on and turn it off. I can also, we, I can also control it via the, our app. For example, I control the light C. And turn right. it off. All right. Uh, so, uh, how many uh, millions of products using uh, uh, Silicon Labs in the world, or billions? You mean a year or? How big is about all the solutions? Se several mil, several hundred million. Several hundred million devices. Are using, uh, Mighty Gecko or some other solution? Mighty Gecko, how yeah. popular is Mighty Gecko so far? Um, I, I think it's about, what we, we, we have shipped it's about two, about 200 million or three. 200 million already? Yeah, yeah, right. For the last two, three, four years or how long? Yeah, right, right. Our, our wireless revenue, I mean the, the Mighty Gecko revenue is about 200 million. I mean the revenue. So the device, device balance uh, is about half of that. Nice. And then you have a new solution you're showing right here. Yeah. Uh, you can introduce or yeah. This is uh, Z Wave. Uh, it's from Six Sigma Design. We just acquired uh, Six Sigma Design <coughs> in, in a April. Um, it's a it's a sub gigahertz protocol, uh, similar to Zigbee. How does it compare with Zigbee? This we just focus on home, and uh, actually we go on the sub gigahertz then. We enhance the uh, interoperability function, so the certification for each device is the hard requirement. So, yeah. um, I, I didn't quite get that. So, so uh, how is it? How is Z-Wave better? Why are people interested in Z-Wave? Uh, because Z-Wave goes through the sub so it can get uh, maybe the for the channel it will be no less noise compared with the 2.4 gigahertz. So it can go through the walls. It can go further away. Yes, go through the wall and further away because the frequency is lower. That means the uh, energy is stronger, of the RF is stronger, so we can deliver a longer distance. So the, let we, let's say you have a house with three floors, you can have one uh, one uh, base uh, base station, and then the whole house is okay. Yes, you can so cover the, the other one. Worker. You can cover. Yeah, we also support machine worker. You should do the such a different type of device. They can use the mass power. So, you can so just only one of these, well, then it's enough to because because do everything mesh networking so the the, the AC mains each AC mains devices can be the repeater so it covers the uh, the, 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 the ranges inside the house and uh, so what's the chipset in here what's the chipset yeah uh, it's current, currently we call the 500 series chip what do you call it 500 series chip the Z-Wave 500 series chip yeah. now we are uh, we are going to la announce the 700 series chip uh, in um, late of this year. What's the difference? The difference is that 700 series gets lower power consumption and longer range. It's perfect. Uh, people want lower power and longer range, right? Yeah. But uh, what is the chipset? Is it an ARM Cortex M? Okay. Uh, now in 500 series is 8051 core. In the future, the 700 series, it will be ARM Cortex M4. M4. Yes. So, uh, um, how about consideration in doing uh, like uh, uh, Cortex M33 or M23 or uh, uh, some of the maybe Cortex M7? There's no announcement about this yet, right? For from the Silicon Labs, or but do, do you know? 
Do you know so this? Uh, this uh, is, is there any you know like uh, yeah, arm VHM yeah, yeah, announcements? Yeah. Using 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 we use the newest uh, arm technology. Yeah, it not announced yet, right? The only talk about Car Cortex M4. Yeah, we we have we we we, we are In fact, we are simple that uh, in in a, a few months. Yeah, we so, have. So that will be from some future product, right? Right. I yeah. I, I I might not. Be able yeah. to talk about that yeah. too much. Yeah. It's secret. No, yeah. right. So the, how how is it going to be to have a Cortex M4 compared to the other one? It, it improves something. Like it can improve which one? Uh, the, the the other one. The Any one. Yeah. One. Because how, what is the efficiency improvements? In the, just using ARM is the same nanometers or? Yeah, because the the uh, ARM uh, has needs lo less energy, so the power consumption can be lower. And also the possession power is higher than any fifty one. one yeah. So is it the same nanometer? The same uh, chip size? Give me the process. The process node? No, uh, the, the ARM process is uh, more advanced. All right. Compared so, to any fifty one. So maybe the chip will be smaller. Will be smaller. Yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, how popular is this solution right now? Uh, how many million products have this? <laughs> uh, this new product is, has already a uh, hundred million devices in the market today. Wow. More than hundred million. With the five hundred series. We start from uh, uh, start from one hundred series, two hundred series, up to uh, five hundred series. And they all use the same architecture. Use the same architecture, same profile, so it's backward compatible. The 500 series today can control the 100 series probably 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago devices. And still working. Still like working. For all these uh, sensors and lights and everything. Exactly. And uh, um, how's the software difference between 500 and 700 series? Because they were defining the uh, application level profile. So on application profile, from the first day of Z-Wave initiate up until now, they are all the same. They are, they are using the same architecture. And uh, are you the leader in Z-Wave in the world? <laughs> well, for home control IoT, yes. But some other companies do outside the home. Yeah, because Zero is only focused on home. We are not doing any industry or any uh, hospitalized, something like that. We only focus on home. That would be a different protocol or a different... Uh, different requirement. Different, uh, different uh, uh, maybe uh, LoRa. Or something else. Oh, right. Right? Something else. Yes. Maybe Silicon Labs has other product for this. Maybe. Yeah. Also. Yeah. Right. Cool.